Go friends and welcome back to another vlog. I'm starting off with the vlog with just the tiniest bit of meal prep. I only made three, but I did these breakfast bowls with eggs, some veggies, and chorizo, um, pork chorizo, and I'm gonna pop them in the freezer to have it later on this week. I know they're breakfast meal prep, but I'll probably have them for lunch because I usually have overnight oats for breakfast and I also prepped a bunch of overnight oats. So all of that is done. So these will probably be lunch. And here are said overnight oats. These are like one serving each and these ones have two servings because we had a lot of these that were like dirty or they're being used. Like you can see some in the back, like mac and cheese and stuff in them. So one, two, three, four, five, six days of overnight oats with chia seeds. And then earlier we got Red Robin. I got a burger. It was the best burger of my life. But I also got a salad salad. I didn't eat it, so I'm gonna have it now. It came with ranch. And then yesterday we got Kane's chicken. I don't even think Kane's chicken is that great, but their sauce is amazing. So I'm going to have, I think I'm gonna mix sauce and ranch together for my salad. Then when my dad was here, he was here this past weekend, he brought these over. So I'm gonna also put some chicken on it for some extra protein and I'll show you what it looks like all assembled. There it is assembled and I'm just gonna dip it in the sauces. Um, but yeah, it looks delicious. Okay friends, I'm making scones right now. These are literally about to go in the oven. I'm wasting heat, you know. Here's the before and here's the after. Look how beautiful they came out. All right, and here they are all done. I'm so proud of them. They came out so good. Here's the clotted cream. You're not supposed to mix it, but I went ahead and mixed it to try to make it like look more appetizing so my kids would be more likely to eat it. Um, and it's actually like really surprisingly sweet. I didn't think it would be that sweet. Um, I think it's really good though, even though, I mean, now it looks a lot better than it did, but at first it did not look very appetizing. But like I said, this is not how you're supposed to do it, but I did it like this anyways. And here is a scone cut in half. Um, I put butter and then I put orange marmalade on one half, raspberry jam, jam on the other half, and clotted cream on top. All right, Garrett made some copycat Olive Garden. Zappa just gonna soup. He made the potato slices so big, um, but it's still delicious. And then the bread that I made last week, um, we are having that with it, with some butter, because I love bread with my soup to dip it in. Um, and we're almost out, so I need to make more bread soon. And there it is, plated. Hello, friends. I just got back from Dollar Tree. I actually went to a new Dollar Tree this time and it was just so nice. I don't know why I haven't gone there before. It's closer to my house, but I feel like I just get like wrapped up in my routine and I go to the same places every time, but I will be going to this Dollar Tree from now on. It was so nice. Um, I mostly went for St. Patty's Day things and Easter things because I want to get a head start on my kids' Easter baskets. Um, but then I also picked up a bunch of other stuff. So I'm gonna start off with the other stuff and then I'll show you the St. Patty's Day stuff. First, I got this Nutastic, which is basically like knockoff Nutella. And if it's any good, I will continue to buy this because it's only $1.25. Um, these looked so good. And I think I've actually seen these ones at the other Dollar Tree I usually go to, but just have never picked them up. Brownie King Little Cakes, and they come with eight cakes. Um, I saw these ones, which I have not seen before. They have like little M&Ms. So got these for like treats, you know, little desserts, little home from school snacks, tape because we needed tape, some hand soaps because we needed hand soap, kids toothpaste because my kids needed toothpaste, um, some more snack things. I saw these and just thought they were so cool. The cereal straws. So I think I'm going to um, give these to the kids when they get home from school. And they can have a you know glass of milk with some cereal straws i just think that is neat um last time i went to dollar tree i think i got the strawberry ones of these and my kids were obsessed and they're individually wrapped so i like them because i can like first of all it's easy to hand them out snacks but also like if we're going somewhere i can throw a few in my diaper bag and then we can get going so wait for chocolates and then this is the last thing that I got for myself and also my girls. This is so beautiful. The baby pink with all of the colorful, like rainbow pearl beads. How beautiful is that? So, you know, I will wear it, but also my girls will wear it. Okay. And then for St. Patty's Day, um, the kids, our tradition is the kids always make leprechaun traps. And then, oh, actually, no, there's one more thing. 
I did get these for me um, because I haven't seen these flavors in my Walmart when I go grocery shopping. When I do grocery pickup, I mean, because we all know I never get out of the, the car. Um, the dill tuna salad. And I think I've gotten sweet and spicy from a different brand, but not chicken of the sea. And then the sweet and spicy Thai, Thai kitchen. So got those just for me, like easy protein lunches. Okay. Anyways, our um, St. Patty's Day tradition is the kids will always make leprechaun traps. And if they do not catch the leprechaun, the leprechaun always leaves treats. Um, this is something my mom did for me when I was a kid. And also I remember my nanny doing it a few times when we were at her house for um, St. Patty's Day. My nanny is my grandma, if y'all are new here. Um, so I do that. I have done that with my kids, but I've kind of changed the tradition a little bit and I always get them like green candies and green snacks. So first off, I got these sour cream and onion in a, cause it's the green tub. They're like knockoff Pringles. Mike and Ike's, cause they're also green. My, I was so excited to see these there. Um, first of all, these are the best, these ones and the clear ones are the best gummy bears, but they're the green strawberry. How perfect. Um, this was also perfect for my kids because it's a four pack and I have four kids. Um, so just the green apple juice. Um, the Russell Stover Mint Patties, and I hope there's at least four in here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it feels like there's maybe five. One, two, three. There's definitely at least four, maybe five. Um, no, these aren't technically green, but they're minty and the wrappers are green. I might even, because they are pre-wrapped, I might even just take them out of here and scatter them, you know? And then some green blow pops and then my dollar tree didn't have a ton of st patty's day decorations i think they were mostly picked over um and also they're putting the easter stuff out because easter is in march this year i always get stressed out when easter is in march because it feels like because like i said we go big for st patty's day so it's like two big holidays back to back st patty's day isn't as big as easter but we still go pretty big for it you know anyways and then i just got these little gold coins that I'm gonna scatter around. Then we also still have those like little round, like green mints that we have left over from Christmas. And I've been hiding them and I'm gonna scatter these around, scatter those mints around, plus leave all of this stuff out. So that is my little Dollar Tree haul. Um, I will have the What I Got My Kids For Easter video up soon. I, I kinda need to go through and see if I got them enough stuff. I think I did. Honestly, I probably went overboard, but I don't think I went as overboard as like last year but it's probably plenty, but I feel like every year I try to outdo myself the year before and I really just need to calm down a little bit. Anyways, that is it for today's little Dollar Tree haul. Hello friends, I'm about to film some sit down videos, but I did the Delani Child's messy bun tutorial and it didn't really work on me. I think my hair is too long. Like I have too much hair to do it exactly the way she did it. And so I feel like my bun came out very like mushroomy and hers looks really cute. So I threw a headband on because I was feeling really self-conscious and I threw the headband on that I got yesterday. And then I ran with it. I was like, I have earrings that match that. I have a shirt that matches. And so now we're just all in baby pink for my sit down videos, which is really cute. But I don't know, I'm feeling really self-conscious just because this looks weird. I have too much hair to do it the way that she did it. Also, I'm filming in my kitchen today in this little corner and I kind of like it better than filming in my bathroom. First of all, there's more space so you can see like more of me and I feel like that's just more, I don't know, pleasing. Um, but also it's brighter because I don't have windows in my bathroom. I just feel like it looks better, but I can only film here when my kids are either napping or away. Like I have two kids at school, I have two kids napping right now. When I film in my bathroom, I can like shut myself in there. And sometimes you do still hear my kids in the bath in the background, but I can film while they're like watching a movie or whatever. But yeah, I'm really happy with like this. Maybe I need to do this more often. I also got a late birthday present, some book mail. Um, I've seen so many good things about this one. So I'm so excited to read it. Hello friends, it is Thursday and I just got a protein coffee from Dutch Bros. Well, Garrett brought it to me. Um, caffeine free, decaf, you know how it is. 
but I just saw, okay, they actually announced this like a week ago, but I missed it, but they have decided to add the protein coffee to their menu permanently, and it was only supposed to be January and February, and for the past two months, I've been complaining about how I wish it was a permanent thing on their menu, not an only two-month thing for the new year, and they did it, and I'm so happy, so naturally I had to get my protein coffee from Dutch Bros. It has 20 grams of protein, and I am just so, so happy. Cause then I don't feel guilty about having a coffee cause I'm getting my protein in, which I need. Um, cause I work out so much, but I'm so happy. Hello friends. I just got out of a parent teacher conference and I picked up some Starbucks on the way home. This is the, okay, let me see if I get this right. This is the lavender cream oat milk matcha latte iced. Um, and they have lavender finally. I've been hoping Starbucks gets lavender for a really long time. The top is, it doesn't look very pretty, but the top is purple. It looks prettier on like the pictures on the app and on their social media, you know, but it's really, really good. Um, I've been wanting Starbucks to get lavender for a really long time. And whenever I go to like a small town, not, not even necessarily a small town coffee shop, but like locally owned coffee shops, they always have lavender on the menu. I will always get lavender coffees. And I feel like in coffee, I can never taste the lavender. Like I always love the idea of it in coffee, but I can never actually taste it. But in this, I can taste it and it's really, really good. Mm, it's so good. It's also really, really sweet. Also, I don't normally like oat milk because it just tastes, it tastes like oatmeal, oatmeal water to me, you know? Like it tastes like oatmeal milk because that's what it is, duh. It doesn't taste super oatmeal-y in here though. And you would probably think I would like that because I have oatmeal every single day and I love oatmeal, but I don't like it in my drinks. But in this one, it doesn't taste super oatmeal-y. My favorite, um, my favorite like non-dairy milk is cashew milk. Like to me, that tastes the most like cow's milk. But I also really like soy milk and I feel like that's not it really is popular anymore. But like every once in a while, I will just get like a really, like I will just get a craving for soy milk. But honestly, it's like, it's pretty rare that I will substitute my milk in coffee because I don't have, I'm not vegan and I don't have like milk sensitivities or anything. But this one is like automatically without milk. Anyways, that's the end of my little rambling. This is delicious. If you like matcha and you like um, lavender syrup, definitely try it. Hello friends. I also forgot to mention earlier that we're leaving to Dallas today. So I'm going to probably do like a montage of like mostly the foods that we eat in Dallas because I'm always really bad at vlogging at like travel vlogging. Um, but my sister-in-law just had a baby. So we're going to go visit them and spend time with family, but also maybe do some like touristy things. Um, I know Dallas has in and out and I really, really want to get in and out. We got it last time in Vegas and I loved it. Um, but I don't, I have no idea what else is on the agenda other than, um, seeing everybody, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a heads up before I get into montage and then I'll probably share my outfits too. They're very simple because it is like going to be kind of chilly this weekend, but they're still pretty cute. Okay, friends, we are in Dallas. I did that same up to again, same headband and earrings. I also switched up my cartilage and other earrings. Um, baby girl necklace and then just this like gray bodysuit pink jacket I'm gonna put on my Apple watch too but I have this little gold bracelet and then mom jeans and then just plain sneakers so just like a casual outfit but I've been loving I love pairing these earrings and this headband I think they go so well together and here's a little mirror selfie of the outfit. Okay, so first thing we did in Dallas was get Starbucks for the new mama. I got the um, lavender matcha once again, it's delicious. We also got in and out because we don't have that where I live, so it was a must. I got the animal style fries for the first time. These fries are just the kids, but I got the animal style and I didn't love it. I love their animal style burgers, was not a fan of it on the fries though. And then I even got a soda, which I haven't had in a long time. And look at this cow at the hotel room, so cute. And then we took the kids shoe shopping. Here are the boxes, youngest to oldest. Youngest got these little pink Nikes, they're already dirty. But I love how the inside on the soles are different colors to help them learn left from right. 
both of the middle girls got some light up Skechers. Skechers knows how to do pretty little girl shoes. These are both so pretty um, with the rainbows and the sparkles and they light up. Both pairs light up. And then my son got these Nikes. You know, very cool, very sporty for little boys. And then we ended the night by going to this place called Handles and it was the best ice cream I've ever had. I got coffee chocolate chip and it was so yummy. And then on Sunday we went to this Mexican restaurant that had the like most me vibe. Um, it was decorated in books. I got a spicy margarita and fish tacos that were to die for. And then we drove home on Sunday and we stopped at Bucky's, got some candy for the kiddos some Korean like sweet Korean beef jerky which was delicious and then I got a pulled pork sandwich because everyone raves about it and a Celsius for the drive home. Okay friends we just got back home from Dallas. It was a fun quick little weekend trip. I didn't even do like a proper outfit of the day. I'm wearing like a pastel hoodie, um, these earrings that don't really match but I was going for like pastel and then just like black leggings and crocs because it was a travel day so i just wanted something comfy um yeah that is going to be it for today's vlog i hope you all enjoyed and i will see y'all in the next one bye friends mm -hmm.